I'm Miss Athena here with Hero Smart Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we're going to build our vocabulary, adding words to our vocabulary to improve our ability to speak and communicate and our diction all together. Are you ready? I am too. Let's begin with the word prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, it's so good to have you back with me. Hi, how are you doing? It's good to see you. If you have your language arts workbook, you may pull that out at this time and turn to page 88. And you'll be exactly where you need to be for this lesson. The first word we're going to define is the word surpass. S-U-R-P-A-S-S. Remember, if a word ends in the letters F, L, or S, they are oftentimes doubled. So just keep that in mind, which is why you see the double S there. Surpass is also a two-syllable word, surpass. And um, so that should help you with breaking it up and spelling it properly. Now that we've done an orthography review, let's go over to the vocabulary of uh, word. We'll be, use our dictionary to do that. We are in the S's. And we need to find S-U-R-P. So this is between S-U-P and S-U-R-F. We need to get to S-U-R-P. So let's come over here. Perfect. This will be the perfect reference page for this. So we have S-U-R-G, S-U-R-N, S-U-R-P, A-S-S. -S. Surpass is a verb. It means to be greater, better, or stronger than, but to exceed. To exceed. You may have, um, you may or may not have ever taken a, a test or an exam in the past and you said, wow, I did okay, but I would like to surpass my uh, last year's test scores. When you use the word surpass, you just mean I want to exceed. I want to improve. I want to get better. I want to do a better job. So to surpass means to exceed. Have you ever wanted to surpass a previous record? Yeah, maybe, maybe a, I don't know, a food eating contest. I've eaten, you know, you know, one pound of rice. Tomorrow I'm going to surpass or exceed that goal by that record by, um, I don't know, by eating one pound and two ounces. Yeah. One count and two of the surprise. So that's one way you can use the word surpass. I want to surpass, exceed, get better, improve. Okay, let's find the second word for our vocabulary today. And that word is going to be deceit. Deceit or deceit, really. The E is um, not stressed. And so it doesn't have a long E sound like deceit. It's really just deceit. De. It almost um, sounds like the short U sound, which we call the schwa, which you'll learn all about in your orthography class this year. Deceit, uh, the C in the word deceit is a soft C. And you're gonna learn about that much later. A soft C means that it's not hard. So instead of making the hard K sound, it actually makes the soft S sound because it's placed side by side with the letter E. Okay, so you have deceit, D-E-C-E-I-T, deceit. Let's look it up in our dictionary to find out what does it mean for something to be deceitful or to have deceit. We've been talking a lot about quality virtues. Well, deceit is not a quality virtue, is it? No, it's not a quality it isn't virtue. But let's find out why. So here we have D E C E. We need D E C E I. Aha, there it is. Deceit is a noun and it is the act or practice of making someone believe something that is not true. Deception. The sentence so has the villain used deceit to, to further his evil plan, you know. And so when someone talks about deceit, we talk about deception, fooling someone to believe something that's not true. Now, is that very nice? No, it's not nice to have deceit in a person's heart. And guess who else thinks it's not nice? 
Yeah, God says, I don't like deceit. I don't like hypocrisy. I don't like malice. Is that what God says? Yeah, so we'll leave deceit for the devil because he's the father of all those nasty qualities anyways, isn't he? He is, he is. Okay, let's move on to the third word for our vocabulary builder today. The third word is reward. What does it mean to have or earn a reward? Let's find out. Have you ever earned a reward? It's fun, isn't it? To earn a reward. It's like, oh yeah, I earned that. It actually feels even better than receiving a gift sometimes because it's like, I earned that. I worked hard for that. Okay, so here you have reward. So it's here at the very bottom of the page. And reward is something given or offered in return for a service or accomplishment. Reward is something given in return for a service or accomplishment. Do you like rewards? Yeah, I do too. I like rewards. I like it when someone or something is gives an opportunity to receive a um, payment for a job well done. Uh, an example of a reward is maybe some praise from your mommy or daddy whenever you do well. Perhaps they say, go and do X, Y, Z. And guess what happens when you complete X, Y, Z? They say, good job. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. I want to say thank you. Or I want to say good job. Or I want to give you a high five. Or I'd like to give you a hug or some sort of um, praise in that fashion. So it's good to receive rewards based on a job well done. Go ahead. Okay, let's move on to the final and uh, word for today. And that word is contend. Contend. Contend is con, C-O-N, contend, T-E-N-D, ten, contend. Um, and in the future, in a higher grade levels, we'll talk about how to break up a word to, um, to understand the word even if you've never seen the word before based on certain prefixes and suffixes and things like that. But and at this grade level, we just want to appreciate ex expanding our vocabulary with new words and being able to add a little color and flair to your, to your diction. But very soon we'll learn how to decode a word, even if you've never seen it before. Okay, so contend is going to be in the C's. And you're gonna look for C-O-N. And we're looking for C-O-N-T, because it's contend. So here, the uh, words are gonna be between C-O-N-S and C-O-N-T-A. We need C-O-N-T-E, so it will not be on this page. We're gonna come over to this side, and we have C-O-N-T-A to C-O-N-T-I. Now, that would be perfect. Let's come down and find contend, contend. Contend is a verb and it means compete. Mm. To try hard to deal with, to argue or state earnestly, she contends the test was unfair. She contends the test. So a person can contend for a lot of things, but um, the word, uh, the meaning I want you to take away from this is to compete, yeah, so. You can compete for something or contend with something or with someone. Um, hopefully, we're not contending with people too often. The Bible tells us to be at peace with all men as, as much as you can. And actually kind of gives that a little note to us as God actually likes peace. In his heavenly realms, there's, there's, you know, there, there's lots of peace and joy and tranquility. So he wants us to live with peace with others as well. But there are times we'll need to contend for certain things, including, but not exclusively, your faith. You may have to contend with the enemy and you have to say, hey, I love God and I'm not going to let you come and interrupt that. And that's one thing at times you may find we need to contend for, contend for our faith um, and, um, and show the enemy who's boss because he's not a very ruly character. He's, he's extremely unruly and he needs to be taught a lesson from time to time. So you have to pray through and, and I'm sure that your parents are teaching you how to pray 
and enforce God's angels around you and around your circumstances every day. But yeah, you're going to contend for the faith. It's like, hey, I, I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to oppose anything that tries to challenge this. So that's okay to oppose the enemy. It's okay. But we generally want to be at peace with all people and live according to God's will that's in heaven, even while we're here on earth. Do you agree with that? I do too. Okay, let's do a quick recap of what we learned today. We said to surpass means to to exceed or to go beyond. Deceit means to, yeah, to try and convince someone of something that's not true, to, to deceive. Reward is to receive something as payment for a job well done. Contend means to oppose or to argue or to fight. Good job. Well, thank you so much for coming to class today. I really enjoyed having you. And until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born.